Hey there YouTube, Team Social Link here. I'm giving you a deck profile okay. of um, one of my decks. I am currently playing um, Seal Dragons. I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. Um, it was actually a present for me from one of my friends. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> um, this is Seal Dragon Terracloth. Pretty much count plus one. Pick a rear guard on your opponent's side of the field. Retire, and they look at the top four cards of grade, four, grade two and call it to the rear guard circle. And then for the triggers, I play... Four heals, six draws, six crits. I'm playing this because it seems a lot better. I know there's a lot of the Seal Dragons are special counter blast, but it's been working out for me fine. I haven't had any problems with these um trigger lineup, but I'll be explaining why I'm running that number. Of triggers onto the grade ones, two bars. Um, four dra seal dragons. Um, Phalana, Phalan, Phaly, Phanal, Phanal. Um, the 10k attacker when you have a dragon seal vanguard gains 3,000 attack. Four uh, Percy when your opponent has a grade two vanguard or rear guard. When you place this on the vanguard, I'm in rubber rear guard. Discard a card, draw a card. And then four perfect cards. Grade twos. I'm only playing three of the 12Ks. I'll be explaining why I'm only playing three of these, but pretty much when you have a Seal Dragon Vanguard, this unit only gives 3,000 power, so it becomes a 12K attacker. Four Seal Dragon um, Hungry Hell Dragon. 10k vanilla for the seal dragons. And then four seal dragon Corduroy. Corduroy, yeah, thank you. It's the same. It's pretty much the same as Terracloth. Count blast one. But you don't have to put them in the soul, you just count blast one when you place them on rear, um, rear guard or vanguard. And choose a rear guard, retire it. Opponent looks at top four of his cards. If it's a uh, grade two, calls it to the rear guard circle. So that's it for the grade twos. Grade threes. Three blockades. Um, when this card's a vanguard, your opponent cannot intercept um, that um, the turn that he's a vanguard. So pretty much if I attack him with attack with one of my rear guards, he cannot intercept his grade twos. And then we play three of the cross of blockade. Um, He's pretty much when you counter blast two seal dragons in the card names, yeah, and yeah, he's a special counter blast for seal dragons. So is Terracloth. These are the only ones that are like special counter blasts with seal dragons in their names. But you counter blast two, retire all your opponent's rear guards, and this unit gets plus ten thousand. And as long as blockades in the soul, he gains um, two thousand. Yeah, permanent thirteen k. Yeah, he'd be a permanent thirteen k, which is normal. For cross rides. And the reason why I'm going to be changing this up, I'm going to be taking out one more blockade for one more dollars. I'm running two dollars currently right now. Um, it's been working out very fine um, because I would um, either break right over him and my opponent wouldn't be able to intercept or break right over him when I have him already. I'll just ride over blockade with Dauntless. But yeah, so far I'm like using two right now. I would like to bump it up to three and I'm planning on getting two more because I will be running the reverse Dauntless when it comes out. We just have to remember Dauntless is extremely expensive. But right now Dauntless is 40 bucks and uh, <laughs> that takes a nice chunk out of my pay. You know. But pretty much Kagero break ride, when a Kagero rides over this, it gets plus 10,000 and it gets an auto effect. Um, when the attack is done, um, when you attack with your Vanguard, if the Vanguard did not Stand up the turn that you attacked. This turn, you can restand him by discarding three cards. And then when this unit attacks, um, it gets plus two thousand if you have more rear guards than your opponent. But yeah, that's the reason why I'm running the six crits, six draws, because you need the more draw powers for this deck. And then I'm running the Gatlin claws, just in case, because I do have those. Counter blasts that I don't need. If like I don't have a chance to re retire like someone's starter that they need, I can just call 
call this counter blast like um gallon claw or blue ray draco kid or dauntless or a bar and retire like whatever starter they have like their great face search in that but yeah that's my deck profile guys um please like comment subscribe um leave comments down um down in the comments so let me know what you guys think about it team social link out